When you think of stopping a bullet, you often think of steel plates, Kevlar, ceramics, aramids, stuff like that. But how about fiberglass? Today we're going to have a look at these fiberglass ballistic panels and see how they perform and if they can save your life or not. Quite a few companies sell products called fiberglass ballistic paneling. Now this typically comes in plywood size sheets 4 by 8 foot and it also comes in various thicknesses giving you different levels of protection. Now typically this stuff is used for protecting tellers, cashiers, judges, uh, building safe rooms, but today we're gonna see how it works as actual defensive body armor. Now a viewer named Greg generously donated a big piece of this stuff two foot by eight foot so I need to chop it down into smaller uh, body armor size pieces. I cut it using a skill saw with carbide teeth and I also sprayed it with water as I cut it to control the dust. Fiberglass is pretty nasty stuff and I would recommend wearing a dust mask and even some disposable coveralls to protect your clothing. The fine Fiberglass dust is very irritating to your skin, so you want to avoid getting it on you at all costs. Looking closely at the fiberglass panel, you can see that it's made of multiple layers of fiberglass cloth overlapped on top of each other and bound together and compressed using a proprietary resin. Because of legal reasons, I cannot say who the manufacturer of this panel is, but I can tell you that it's quarter inch thick meaning it's level one rated by underwriters laboratories. This will stop a nine millimeter full metal jacket bullet. And of course a full metal jacket round nose bullet is harder to stop than a hollow point. Okay, we've strapped our plate to our unarmed Doug the Thug, who is an aspiring honor roll student, a member of the choir, and he enjoys cuddling with his grandma. And he also likes puppies and long walks on the beach looking for people to mug. Shooting for us today is Nick using his 9mm Glock. It's important to note here that Nick wasn't aiming at the center of the plate, he was aiming for the heart. Nice shot there Nick. And you'll notice there's no bullet fragmentation, no ricochet. The bullet actually looks like it went through the plate. Using the same ball ammunition, we'll be shooting this out of a uh, 9mm M19 carbine. And the velocity out of this is actually higher than what the plate is rated for. You'll notice that Baron got a nice, clean, dead center shot, but kept it about 5 inches away from the first shot, just to make sure there was no shenanigans going on here. Because this was traveling at a higher velocity, we definitely see a different type of damage, more delamination to the plate. But did the plate stop the bullets or not? Let's find out. The first one, you could see it did not pass through. In fact, there's hardly any deformation at all. However, the bottom one shot at the velocity higher than what the plate is rated for did leave a slight bulge. Next, we'll shoot a 1 and 3 8 ounce lead 12 gauge slug at the plate. This is the Thunderbolt by Ballistic Products. With a velocity of 1500 feet per second, this ballistically is almost identical to the Brennicky Black Magic Slug that many people are familiar with. This is being shot out of a Benelli Nova with a rifle choke tube. Okay, hit it! <laughs> Well, we often use the term bulletproof, and that's kind of a loose term. It is kind of true as long as you're using bullets that the protection is rated for. But of course, the correct proper term is bullet resistance. And of course, shooting a 1 and 3 8 ounce slug out of a 3 and a half inch shell at 1500 feet per second is way above the rated protection of a level 1 fiberglass plate. Ow. 
Okay, let's look at the plate and see what kind of damage we got. Lots of delamination and a definite pass through. In fact, it went all the way through Doug the Thug. Unfortunately, Doug did not survive. And he had a bunch of fiberglass dust in that wound cavity too. But remember this plate, weighing only two and a half pounds, did exceed its rating, which was a nine millimeter traveling at 1090 feet per second. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more footage on those Thunderbolt slugs. They were amazing.